This is Hen Nights uh, 2021. Uh, on hindsight, 2020 was better. Our fourth show, IV. IV. Let's all get vaccinated. Mine's next week. Mine's the 22nd of the March. <laughs> Which is good, but I do, I do, I have an aversion. <laughs> I don't like, I don't like, I don't like little pricks. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't. I don't like big ones, to be honest. For hanging himself in his prison cell, he killed himself. He killed himself. Unlike Jeffrey Epstein, he actually killed himself. Do I have a moral obligation to warn my new friend Emily about the situation? Do you think she knows? Oh my God, Henhouse, do you think she knows? Um, you, I'm sure you can tell by the baseball cap and the large amount of, you know, uh, sports memorabilia that that is, uh, I didn't need a test for that. Uh, you can just look at me and know she's probably got high testosterone. I do. Uh, I, um, I used to uh, sleep with men ill. Uh, one of the things I, I, I used to do in my 20s, see, here's the thing. I used to sleep with men in my 20s. It's weird. I was sleeping with men and I also was a vegetarian. It's like I was selective about the meat that entered my body. I'd had issues for a few years throwing up all of the time. Uh, so she took me to a specialist who, of course, saw a 17 year old girl and thought, you need to do a pregnancy test. Uh, I was absolutely terrified, honestly, those was the longest few minutes of my life because I was convinced that I was the next Virgin Mary and nobody was going to believe me. I just like honestly find it quite inspiring, like not the not the cannibalism, obviously, but the fact that you could be so hot that people don't care that you're a cannibal. I'm not gonna lie, I wish I was that fit, right? Like that is impressive. Regardless of what you feel about the cannibalism, it, it would be good to be so fit that people are just like, eh, I guess we let it slide. People fly from here to there. Um, and so right now I'm home. We actually, we don't give a shit about the coronavirus. We are just out in the world. People don't hardly wear no mask because I don't believe in it. My cousin, who's a street preacher, said he doesn't believe in coronavirus, so he won't get it. Hmm. Okay, that's one way to do this. <laughs> miles away hey wow blimey you're all in at the hen house on our, our number five our five do you know i am so excited this week so excited i've decided it's red nose day <laughs> but don't watch that watch this this is the heavy heavy monster sound listen yeah i'm so excited i'm so so excited because i believe Children are our future. Also, I'm getting vaccinated on Monday. Yes, I am getting vaccinated on Monday. I am so excited. My life has changed. I've realised there is now a future. It's either vaccination or vasectomy. I'm not sure which. <laughs> Both involve a little prick. Now, I took a week to work on that joke. Leave it out. Seriously, I was so excited that I went to the chip shop the other day. I went to the chip shop because... A year ago Tuesday is like when the start of lockdowns happened. A year ago Tuesday, and look at us now. So I've only had two kebab and chips in 12 months. But I went to my own chip shop the other day. It was so, it was a joy. I was so, I just, yeah, you know, I thought, fuck it, I don't care. I'm going out, I'm going out because I'm getting vaccinated on Monday. I'm going out and I'm getting chips. <laughs> oh, and it was lovely. I didn't wear my mask. I thought, fuck it, I don't care. No, I did wear my mask and I didn't. I waited till everyone got out of the chip shop and there was a six deep queue behind me. But I don't care. Give up and chips. I'm single. I can do it. So excited. It's very, very, very positive. I know Bodger looks like he's doing the right thing at the moment. So, you know, clap, clap that. Vaccines are us. 
But I, I worry, I worry that the vaccines, because they're not sending them over here anymore. Well, they are, but not sending as many. But like, we've vaccinated millions and millions of people in the last, well, at the beginning of the year, we've, we've vaccinated millions and millions of people, but we haven't really vaccinated them. We've given them one dose. When they said they were going to vaccinate 15 million by, fe by February, was it? They meant two doses, but it don't matter. We're still doing well. The more you get in the arm, the better it is. But, so they've done all those millions. Now they're doing more people and the millions that they've done before. So I do feel there is going to be a bottleneck. But I'm getting vaccinated on Monday, so yeah. It's not because it's not because of my age, it's because I'm so good looking. That's what they told me. What else? Is, oh. Yeah, I wanted to talk. I don't want to talk about me mum, but Mother Hen is not very well. She is not very well, and I've had to take on certain responsibilities for her. Like I've managed to cut her sky bill down from £120 a month to £60 a month. Given a single person's discount on accounts of tax, £400 a year. But I also had to fill in her census form. Do you know about the census people? You know what? I was going to do this, right? I think that's hilarious. Every time I say census, I'm going to play that. No, I did it then, but right. So, yeah, if you haven't filled in your census yet, you meant to do it on Monday, uh, Sunday. But my mum had problems with two questions. Two questions. I've got them here. Just, But honestly, spoilers alert. If you haven't filled in your census yet, then, you know, look away now. Oh, I see most of you have. Right. No, seriously. Where is it? Where is it? My census thing. Right. Okay. So there's two questions that confused my mother of 91, who is at the moment very confused anyway. So the first question that she got confused was, who was you, who was your legal marriage to? Someone of the opposite sex or someone of the same sex? And she got very, very confused. Someone of the opposite sex or someone of the same sex? And she said, what, you, what does that mean? I said, well, did you marry someone that was the same sex as you? Or did you marry someone who was a different sex to you? And she said, well, what do you mean? I said, well, did they have the same genitals as you? And she still, she said, what do you mean? Like, did I marry a woman? And I said, yeah, well, she said, no, of course I didn't. Why would I marry a woman? I said, I've been asking myself the same question. The second, the second question that confused her. I love this one, though. Which of the following best describes your sexual orientation? Straight or heterosexual, gay or lesbian, bisexual or other sexual orientations? Other sexual. See, she was fine. She was fine with the first three. But it was the other sexual orientation she had worries about. She didn't understand. And I said, you know, like pansexual? She said, keep out of that bloody kitchen, you. Okay, all right. So that's about it, really. That's 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 the life in the hen house this week. Oh, oh, oh. Did I did you hear about this bird? This is the Regent honey eater found in Australia. It's a beautiful bird, right? I'm going to read this bit for you. Ecologists are trying to teach one of Australia's most at-risk birds its own song, as plummeting numbers mean fledglings are unable to learn the rich song, right? Those birds, because they're dying out, right? Not enough of the older birds are singing for the younger birds to hear. Little Mix, are you watching? So, right, so older ones have started to die out so the younger ones don't hear the songs. It's a bit like the Beatles, right? But I went on the I went on YouTube and I found the song that they sing, right? And I want you to listen to it because it's a beautiful song. Let's have a listen to it now. It's brilliant, isn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely. <sighs> Hey, thank you so much. If you haven't started sharing the stream, share the stream. Because if you share the stream, you know what I mean. Share the stream. Invite your friends to come and watch some brilliant... We've got some brilliant acts tonight. We've got some brilliant acts. I'll tell you who they are, but they're all on my other screen over here. But let's just check in with Av, because Av, Av was doing some news for us today. So let's have a look. At Where are you? That's the avenue! Hello, Steve. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, Av. Are you all right, Av? Yeah, yeah. Good, good, thank you. What's the news on the street? Well, I've been out and about, uh, and I've seen a few things which have shocked me, actually. I think people have got no class these days. 
Right. Av, we need news. We need proper news. You can't make up the news in your back garden. This isn't Sky. Wait, it, it is news. It's, it's what's, what's happened with me today. I'm trying to be a professional journalist, yeah? Yeah, I get that. But I thought you were going to go out and about and, like, interview people. Have you not been out to interview people? Uh, I, I did, but um, they don't want to talk to me. Because? Because it's lockdown. I'm a bearded man with a backpack. Thanks very much, Av. Have you seen the way I look? Have you seen the way I look? So look, if you could just go out and do some news. Av, right. Okay, cool. All right, Av's out and about. He's going to do some proper news for us. Hey, are you ready for your first comedian here tonight in the hen house? Everyone say yes. Don't forget you can comment. You can even give us a smiley emoji. My kids are so impressed that I use the word emoji. Do you know what I mean? I've learned how to speak teenager, right? But I, I've forgotten what it was. But yeah, emoji helped me look young. So we are going to see uh, somebody from, uh, I'm going to say London. If he's, uh, I'm going to say Pete, so he knows that I'm talking about him. We're going to go over and see Pete Picton. Pete, hello, how are you? I'm good, Steve, how are you? I'm, I'm going to say I'm fine. But uh, I'm not sure. Well, really. take I'm, I'm, I'm all over the place. But it's lovely, and thank you for doing I like your shirt, mate. We'll, we'll take fine. Let's work up towards brilliant. Let's let's do that, Pete. Let's do that. So, whereabouts in London are you? Uh, I'm in uh, an attic in um, Fulham. I won't, Fulham. I won't take it much in, taste, in case the fans, you know, smash the door down or something. Yeah, no, I'm always, I always worry I about to. that. Yeah. When they I don't ask want me mobs. my address. I don't do mobs. Trust me, you won't be mobbed. No. <laughs> So uh, you're an actor oh, by trade. Outside. The mob's out. Oh, no, he's gone past. Sorry. <laughs> you're an actor by trade. I am. So, yeah. Uh, are you doing any... Are you being able to work at the moment? Uh, well, no, it's not been It's not been a great year for theatre, obviously. <laughs> yeah, no, tell me about it. Um, no. But, uh, yeah, I've got something coming up in the next couple of weeks. We can't announce it just yet. Because okay. there's um, some problems with, with licensing, but it's going to be really exciting. And I'll put it on the Facebook group when it comes out. And um, it's a play about uh, a woman, a famous British woman, who has been forgotten. Oh, I can leave you with that teaser. I reckon this is, this is a whole hour of, of oh. Theresa May, isn't it? <laughs> no, I, I said forgotten, not wish we'd forgotten her. Yeah. No. Do you know what? It's weird, isn't it? Boris makes her look good. <laughs> yeah, that, that's going some, isn't it? Eh? Hey, yeah. that's not bad. Oh, that's a shame because you did actually tell me what this was that you were doing. But I, I, I'm sworn to secrecy now as well. But honestly, people, it's it's a great thing, and I'm going to share it as well. Good. So Thank keep you. your yeah. eye on that. Very excited about it. It's going so, to break to... some barriers. Yes, break no, some barriers. You won't be able no. to break any barriers now unless you do it very quietly and 300 miles away from Parliament. That's true. But we'll have a mask on. That's what, hey, you can't argue with that. They should protect obviously statues, not people. That's the main thing. Yeah, no, that's very, that's very good. What happened to statues of rights? Ooh. <laughs> ah. Ooh. I'm buzzing condition. tonight. I've had a can of cider. Right, You're are you ready fire. to do your stuff? <laughs> <laughs> I am, well, and I'm also. Well. No, you don't have to. We can have a chat if you want. I never get out. I'm, do you I'm never ready. get? I don't get out to talk to people, so it's great for me. No, none of us do really, do we? No. Are you, do you no. want to do it? Do you want to, do, you want yeah, to do it? I'm, I'm ready to roll. He's ready to roll, ladies and gentlemen. First time in the hen house. Will you welcome Pete Picton? Thank you. Uh, listen, um, look, before, before I start, if, if, I get, if, I, if I forget anything during the set or, or I get a bit confused, don't worry, because I'm just having an adventure before dementia. Anyway, you've been a fantastic audience. Thanks very much. Good night. Oh, sorry, it's happened again, hasn't it? So, that five minutes went really quickly. But uh, yeah, I, I'm sorry, but I, I am a bit nervous tonight. I must confess. Uh, it's my first time here and I'm, I'm very, very nervous. I'm, I'm more nervous than a Norwegian having the AstraZeneca jab, to be quite frank. Yeah. I'm more nervous than, than Piers Corbyn having a COVID test. I'm more nervous than Prince Philip's doctors, quite frankly. But, uh, yeah, I am nervous, but uh, the more gigs I do, the less diarrhea I get. Anyway, I better move on quickly. Just plow on, I suppose. But uh, And I'm sorry I'm late, by the way. Sorry I'm late. I've had problems getting here. I know, getting to me on house. But um, I've got one of those celebrity sat-navs. 
don't know if you've heard about them. They're, they're sat navs voiced by celebrities. They're the latest thing. And I've got the Fleetwood Mac one. It's rubbish. Just keeps telling me to go my own way. Hopeless. Could be worse, though. I had a, had a Bonnie Tyler one that got me lost in France. The ACDC sat nav, that was a highway to hell. It really was a terrible. But, um, the, the other reason I'm, I'm, I'm a bit late tonight is I've been on a, a privileged white guy's matter march, Fulham Branch. Yeah. Well, I, I say a march. We actually uh, drove around Sloan Square twice in our Audis, dropped talking off at prep, and then uh, had a couple of snifters at the Grouch Show. So, um, you know, yeah, just, just doing our bit, you know. Well, I, I say I'm not privileged at all. I don't know why I said that. You know, first time here, I was just trying to impress you. I'm not I'm not, I'm not privileged at all. I had, a, I had a shocking upbringing, to be quite frank. One Christmas, my dad gave me a, a flat bit of cardboard. Tommy's an Xbox. <laughs> I, I haven't got a posh mid-class executive job either. I work at Poundland. I'm a price checker. It's a bit repetitive, to be honest. Can you give me a price check on R1, please? It's a pound. But, I mean, you know, I, I've never been fashionable. That's my problem. Last year, I caught COVID-18. Yeah, tell you, tell you who I feel sorry for during lockdown. I, I feel sorry for 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 the for the house burglars. Yeah, because their business plan is totally knackered, isn't it? Eh? Everyone sat at home. Talking to knackered, I was I was going to do you some observational comedy tonight, but um, the only thing I've observed for the last twelve months has been Netflix in the kitchen. I'll do you five minutes on my microwave if you want. Ping. How's that? Yeah, maybe not. The other thing I've noticed is, um, you've probably noticed this yourselves, that everyone during lockdown is getting dogs. Well, here's, here's a bit of advice for you, right? Don't get a dog, get a puppy. i tell you why. Because when lockdown ends, they're much easier to dump on the side of motorways. Uh, no, <laughs> no, it's not cruel. Because hopefully those puppies one day will form packs of wild dogs and attack those lazy bastards who are still repairing the M4 for four years. So at least we can all then drive over 50 miles per hour. <sighs> but, uh, you know, a lot, a lot of people during lockdown are moaning about the things that are, are not happening, that have been shut down or cancelled or whatever. Not me. No. I'm, I'm, this year, I'm, a, I'm having my own Glastonbury, right? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stand in my back garden for five days whilst my wife empties a watering can on my head. And then I'm going to watch highlights of previous Glastonbury's on next door's telly, because quite frankly, that's as close as I ever get to the bands. And then just to complete the holistic Glastonbury experience, I'm going to invite the neighbours round to smear shit all over my toilets. Perfect. My own Glastonbury. Yeah. Actually, I'll tell you one thing I've noticed at Glastonbury and other festivals, actually. There's never any robots at festivals or pop gigs. Never. And do you know why that is? Because when robots try and buy tickets for gigs, they go on a website and they fill in the form and it says, are you a robot? They tick, yes, <laughs> they've had it. Robots are furious about it. They are. They keep emailing me constantly. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm... Maybe a bit old for festivals, you know. The other, the other day, my kid said to me, Dad, you're so old, you still use email. Zing. <laughs> I, I am old. I don't deny it. I remember the miners' strike. Remember that? When everyone under 12 refused to work. It was terrible. Couldn't get any newspapers delivered. It was shocking. But, yeah, I'm old. You know, I... I <laughs> I used to have dreams. I used to dream about driving across the continent. Now, I drive incontinent. I, I used to have dreams of making it with a supermodel. Now, I make an airfix model. <clears throat> I, I used to have dreams of owning a Porsche. Now, I'm building a Porsche.
Anyway, you're talking of home. I've got some sheep that need worrying, so I'm going to love you and leave you. But I'm going to I'm going to leave you with this one little nugget of advice. If any of you out there have trouble sleeping, here's what you do. Get hold of one of those insomnia apps on your phone. They are fantastic. Just tap on that. Tap on the app, the insomnia app, and within 30 seconds, you are fast asleep. Give it a go when you drive home one night. Thank you very much. I've been Pete Picton. Wishing you all the best. Good night. Pete Picton, all the best. Thank you very much. That was good. You don't need to be nervous in your, in your, in your sauna. <laughs> yeah, the Swedish look. <laughs> well, I can see you now. Oh. Oh. That's it. Oh, look. Twins. You look like Woody Allen. Yeah. Right? Is that good? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can do a double hey. act. Excellent. Hey, Pete, can you stay around for the caption competition? Yeah, of course I can, yeah. Excellent. Thank you so, so much. We'll see you later then. Pleasure. All right. See you now. I'll... Thank you very much, Pete Picton! Uh, Do I re re remove? Yeah, when I say remove. Right. Hey, see this here? Right? That's for, for all you 38,000 people to scan that. Chuck us some money. Don't have to chuck us some money. We we're, we're back at work. In 18 months, right? Like, 18 months they said this they said this thing would go on for 18 months uh, and and at worst 120,000 would die so that's fine we're back we're back in september people if i'm not in a theater by the end of the end of the year i'm going to swing for somebody right oh ah ah have's got have sent us another news report fantastic what are you doing Ab? <laughs> We're going over now to Av Singh's Cookery Hour. Hey, Av, what's cooking? Piers Morgan is a shit. Well, I hope you all found that interesting and good cooking, everyone. <laughs> Piers Morgan. Why are we talking about Piers Morgan? Why? Why? Ah. Right. Uh, where are we going now? We're going somewhere. Where are we going? We're going to America! Hello, DC. How are you? Hello. Hello. What's going on, Steve, in the hen house? It's, uh, it's going very, very, very well. Uh, do you know, I've forgotten where you are in America. Um, I'm in Chicago. Chicago. Yeah, of course you are, Chicago. No, Chicago. Right. Or Illinois. I can tell. I can tell now. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's the thing. How is it in Chicago? Are you opening up? Um, open up for hearts and minds. Yeah, no, I'm no, in touch not, with my they're personal not, side. They're not doing that. No, they're not doing that at all. No, 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 no I, some stuff is opening up. Some stores, some um, actually, even some comedy clubs just just started opening up. So there are oh, some cool. signs of life happening because people are just saying, ah, "I'm getting tired of this." So it's yeah, yeah, yeah. So it is what it is. We're 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 embracing the new change. Oh, Trying that's to good. Yeah, yeah, it, it is. And, and I saw on CNN that your schools are opening up. Uh, yeah, about that. Um, I'm going to be talking about that later today. Uh, oh, shut up, Steve. All right, fine. Thanks. Cool. Well, <laughs> you can talk about it now if you want. Uh, well, yeah, schools are opening up, but uh, our family is. I mean, uh, let me. I mean, I can put you. I can get you into full screen. You can go. Oh, right now. Okay. Okay. Well, Unless, well, if you, if you, if you, you know, I want you to. I want you. I feel that you, you, you're champing at the bit to talk about schools. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. I'll, I got, I got to talk about that. So uh, I'm, I'm a show. All right. Okay. Let's. Hey, he's a friend. You are now a friend of the hen house. How cool is that? I know. I know. I got a place to stay wow. when I come to England. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Because we won't be able to go to any theatres, but you can stay. Right. <laughs> Laser back in the hen house. It's DC. <laughs> no, I happen to be back in the hen house. Uh, believe it or not, I've been. I took a twenty-three year hiatus from comedy. And if you ever want to know what it's like to stay away from stage and come back after 23 years, it's like it's like not having sex for 23 years. And you come back, you know, you're you're nervous, you're excited, you think you still got a strong 20 minutes worth it inside of you, but you can only deliver a good three. That's what it feels like. Nonetheless, uh, in this time right now, because because of COVID, I find myself homeschooling. I'm a homeschool dad. I gotta take care of my kids. They're not in the proper school right now. Um, I'll be honest with you. I have no clue what I'm doing at all. I have zero clue as, as to whether or not I'm effective. I won't know if I'm effective as a homeschool dad or a homeschool teacher unless for the next six or seven years they're either walking across the stage or working on a stage. 
that's my concern for my daughters. Right? I won't find out until it's too late. So I'm beefing with my youngest and my youngest is seven. I'm beefing with her because she's a snitch. Yeah, I said it. I'm calling my seven-year-old daughter a snitch. And here's the reason why. The other day, she says, Dad, I want you to teach me how to read, text, and type clearly. I want to be able to text and type clearly, spell correctly. I'm like, why? She's like, oh, so I can text to mom during the day how much it sucks being your student. I know, seven years old, telling me that, right? That stinks. Now, you think as a responsible parent that I would take the high road and ignore it? No, no, I'm petty. So I took the low road. So I'm letting you know that, hey, listen, you no, know, guess what? Uh, we have a spelling test today. Your word for today is tattle tale. That's right, tattle tale. How it's used in a sentence? Um, Santa doesn't get gifts for little girls like you who tattle tales. You got that? Okay, here's another test for you. We're doing rhyming words. Snitches get blank. Snitches get blank. Fill in the blank, girl. Fill in the blank. Guess what rhymes with snitches? Look, folks, I don't care. I don't care. I hope she got the hint, because if she didn't, I'm going to be actually changing her settings on her iPhone and iPad so that she can't spell correctly, or I'm going to hold her back a grade, one or the other. I don't care how old she gets. She might be 12 years old in fourth grade. I don't care. She might win the battle, but I'm going to win the war in the long term. So now she's really smart though. I got to, I got to give her that because during these zoom calls, these zoom settings now on the, the, uh, the all the, all this time they're spending on zoom, she comes down at this time and asks me for stuff while I'm competing, while I'm competing, competing and talking about comedy and doing stuff on zoom only full well. Cause at the moment my response is yeah, uh -huh, whatever. Yes. Yes. I'm saying yes to anything. I have no idea what I'm saying yes to. I'm sure some parents can identify with this. It's only later on when you find out, when you hear me later on from upstairs, another part of the room hearing saying something like, hey, why are you wearing mom's wig and makeup? Or, hey, why is a stray dog in their house? Or, why is there, why is there Jehovah's Witness in my kitchen? Or, why are you wearing daddy's makeup and wig? Just saying. She's creative. Uh, now, I used to swear a lot. Uh, and uh, to curb my swearing, my daughters made a, a swear jar for me. Now they have enough to purchase stock in Tesla. It's a lot of money. Okay. But I stopped. I stopped swearing. I'm saving my money right now. The swear jar is empty. But now they're upset. Now they're concerned. Because now both of them, my 14-year-old and my 7-year-old daughter, are thinking, wow, we... We just killed a cash cow. We can't have this. We've got to get this money back. So now they come back up to me with a different set of terms saying, Daddy, the British, Daddy, Daddy, Papa. Listen, we want to change our terms because we want to add the following words, dagnabbit, fart, snap, cheese and rice, and mofo, because we hear you saying them and we know what they mean. We know that you're trying to get by without swearing. I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm not going to accept those terms because that will put me back $1,300. I'll be owing you $1,300 in arrears. I'm not going to do that. No, we're going to stick to, the, we're going to stick to the agreement. So now they're getting smart. Now they're trying to collaborate, trying to trip me up, trying to get me to swear. So my youngest is doing stuff like hiding my keys or laying Lego blocks beside my bed so I can step out on it in the morning when I get up or walking in on me and my wife when we're having sex. You know, really intentional stuff to get me to swear. My oldest, she's more conniving because now she's trying to say shit to get me to swear as well, too. Like she's trying to say stuff like, hey, dad, I think LeBron James is better than Kobe Bryant. I'm like, oh, mm, mm, mm. oh, or hey, can I get a MAGA hat for my birthday? Nah. <clears throat> Or, hey, Dad, here's a picture of the tramp stamp that I want to get when I'm 16. Huh? That tramp stamp? I got it right here on the up, up, up. I'm like, oh. You know what? Forget it. I'm just going to drop $20 in that swear jar and just go to town. That's how frustrated I am. Just go to town. So I'm going to leave you on this. I'm concerned for my youngest. I think I've raised a Kaiser Sose.
if you're familiar with the term, the movie, The Usual Suspects. I'm raising a Kaiser Sose. Well, here's what happened. Uh, the other day, her and her sister, her sister's 14, she's seven, they wanted to share a homemade cookie that I made, right? Well, they didn't want to share it. They had one, we had one cookie left and they're fighting over it. I said, listen, stop fighting over the cookie. But my oldest, she's kind of hard. She says, hey, daddy, you can have the cookie so we don't have to fight over it. And my youngest is like, so I don't want to have be a piece of this argument. So I try to apply some kind of a King Solomon wisdom. You know, when King Solomon in the in the Bible, he held the baby up and threatened to slice in a half so it determined which mother was was deserving of this one child. So I tried to apply that wisdom. I said, listen, either you two girls are going to share this cookie or I'm going to toss in the garbage. So here's how cold and chilling my daughter is, my youngest. She goes, fine. Throw it in the garbage. I, I know. That's crazy cold. That's crazy cold. And she looks at her sister and goes, well, I guess neither of us can have it anymore. Just like that. Chilling, isn't it? That's like die, almost like sociopath level. I mean, I don't know what they're teaching in, in, in school. Maybe they're teaching the children's version of, of the art of war. I don't get it. It's concerning. It scares me. Because now here's what's going to happen. When she gets older, I pray that she's not in charge of my well-beings and affairs and becomes like a, uh, it, it determines exactly what's happened to me at the end of life if she has to take care of me. Because the last thing I'd, I'd like to have or have is like her in the hospital room with me going, Daddy, it's the end of the line. You had a good run. Shh, time to go to sleep. This is it. Shh. I'm like, no, I'm just here for hip surgery. I'm not dying and get these coins off my eyes. I'm not asleep yet. Well, folks, that's my time. My name's DC. And as always, always so fun to be part of the hen house. Steve, back to you. I'm back. Hey. <laughs> kids, man. Yeah, I know, kids. Huh? You got, have you got two girls? I got two girls. One's bad enough. Yeah. And I, and I don't mean that in a misogynist way. I don't. It's like, oh. You do yeah. anything for them, and they just know. They just know. They just know uh, how to tweak those buttons. It's when they tag team together, then they use the estrogen power, and it always defeats the testosterone in the house, which is lacking. Well, yeah, my mom said that uh, very early on in my life, but that's <laughs> something I have to live with. But God bless you, DC. Are you staying around for the caption competition? Yeah, hell, why not? You've got no choice now. I've asked you. Yeah, I got no choice. <laughs> right. Hey, I'll thanks very much, DC. We'll see you later, DC. <laughs> Wow, from Chicago. I always want to say from Washington, but it just seems very naff if I do that. Um, oh my goodness, Grace. We're, Grace? Goodness, Grace. Two ciders. Guess what? We've got another report in. We're going over now to Av Singh, who's been following the uh, north of the border contra Dom. Uh, Av, what's been going on over there? Nicola Sturgeon. She's Scottish. Hey, thanks very much, Av. Do you know what? I'm going to see if he's, if he's, if he's back home, because uh, really and truthfully, his news reporting is slightly lacking. Av! Hello. <laughs> are, are you having a go at my news reporting? Uh, I'm going to say no, if that makes it any easier for you. It's a hard job, Steve. It's a hard knock life, I know, for us. But what are we going to do, mate? I, I'm giving you facts. <laughs> You're giving me I'm giving headache. you facts. If, if I say Nicholas Sturgeon is Scottish, that's a fact. That's true. That is true. Um... But, but, but do you think that the five to four vote was fair? What? The five to four vote. Like the five conservatives voted against the four Scottish SDPs. That's the first I heard of. Um, okay, Av, oh, what else have you got for us? Like, okay. anything, anything annoying you this week? Well, uh, Boris had his uh, vaccination. Oh, has he actually had it? Because I know he was going, he was going, bah, 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 Oxford, bah, 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 British, bah, 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 me. But I didn't know when he was doing it. Well, I, I, I thought, you know, he's just mentioned 
was it last week, a couple of weeks ago, 1% pay rise for NHS. Oh, yeah, yeah. Today yeah, yeah. would have been a good Too time much. to increase it. Mm. If I was mm. one of the nurses or doctors, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure that jab went in and he, would, he wouldn't come back out until he got up at least 5 6%. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> that well, jab inject, went in. in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, inject it with something else. And he say, unless you put the 5%, you ain't getting an antidote, you bastard. They, they could inject him with humanity. Come on, NHS is good, but it's not that good, is it? Hey, hey, hey. blimey! I know. I don't want to say anything negative about about Bodger anymore because, like, I could see a I could see a golden horizon. I'm getting vaccinated okay, on Monday. I'm getting vaccinated on Monday. Oh, you do? Oh, okay, well done. Which one are you having? You know? I don't know. I don't know. I, do you know what, though? My doctors uh, sent me a letter today saying, uh, book your uh, appointment. But I already booked it two weeks ago. But oh. that's the NHS for you, right? So it's not. It's uh, So they said, but ring us to tell us if you don't want it. And I didn't know whether to ring for an extra, you know, to do my two in a day. But I rang them and they said, where are you having it? And there's the Artrix. It's a comedy venue down the road in Bromsgrove. Uh, oh, it could be they, appropriate. Well, tell me about it. They set it up as a big uh, COVID vaccination site. So I said, no, I've got booked in on Monday for my, my COVID at the Artrix. And she laughed. She said, you're not going there, are you? And I, oh, that's very COVID. I said, why? She said, I saw Michael McIntyre there. He was shit. Well, he's not everyone's cup of tea, is he? Well, I, 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 I'm not doing Marmite. I'm not, I'm not doing Marmite. Anything else going on, Av? Uh, break it in you, Steve. What, 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 break what? It, uh, the President of USA took a tumble up going up those stairs. Did you see that? I, I, well, I didn't actually see it, but I saw the headline. Three, three, three falls up the stairs. Well, it, what, it, what he does, the mistake is, if you start falling, right, and then you try to make it look like, oh, mm. I'm not falling, and then try to jog back up, that's yeah. the mistake, because you just go end up falling over again. You haven't got, you haven't got your stable base back. So he, he tumbled over two or three times and got on his knee. And he, he, he did that old football thing when he just uh, on his knee and just like rub, looking down the floor, looking at a pitch or oh, something wrong with yeah. the carpet here. You know, <laughs> I reckon, I reckon that... Trump laid it before he, uh, before he left. I don't know what that means. The car is carpet on the stairs going to the, oh, uh, okay. Right. When you say Trump laid it, I thought we were yeah. going back to last week. No, no. And Ivanka. Yeah, well, I did he, it. He... I actually said it. Yeah, well, pedal me back, no. pedal me back. Yeah. So, and, hey, go, go. I was going, I was going to mention that. No, go. And <laughs> no, no, we're not going to get out of this. Yeah. Listen, no, uh, but the, you know, Putin, he was having a go at, at, at Biden the other day, saying that he oh. was an old man. So I reckon he put, I reckon he put the butter on the on the on the steps. Well, you said look after. You say look after yourself or something. That's a, that's a threat, yeah. is that, isn't it? In a, yeah, in a sinister way. <laughs> look after yourself. You, you bet. Uh, you know, some uh, 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 whoever's watching, go get pissed off. But there's some shit accents happening later on. But I'll just try to do my <laughs> Russian one. You would oh. die. But, no, I can't do it. I can't. I can't do it. I can't do an accent. Russian accent. Can you do one? Yeah, it's my Russian accent. <laughs> Too much for you? Too much. I don't get it. I'm Russian. Oh, God. Benny got it. I'm laughing. Uh, right. So, uh, 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 what are we going to do? Well, um, give it up as a bad idea? Give it up? Maybe. But I mean, it's a good you, thing you Hey, your, hey. Oh, go on. I say it's a good thing you get your vaccine because the Indians have stopped delivering. <laughs> yeah, I get that. I get yeah. that. I you get, get that. that. They haven't stopped delivering, have? Just takes three hours longer these days. <laughs> yeah, the bloody Uber drivers, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. They're, they're getting their uh, minimum rate now. I think they're, bit, they get, they're getting a bit uh, up themselves. That's it. I ordered for my breakfast. I got it for supper. I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> That's a catchy tune. Hey, XTC. Have you filled Who? in your census or are you wait until XTC? XTC. Oh, I get it. Oh. Ecstasy. XTC. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, census. Oh, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm so kind of... 
I don't trust him. I don't trust the sentence. What? Sentence. Census. census. Have you filled in your census? You got it. You everyone by law is required. Otherwise, it's a, it's a ten thousand pound fine now. Huh? It's more than standing still like a statue. I tell you that. Shit, ten thousand pound fine for not doing your sentences. No, no. I know a joke about that. <laughs> Ident- identical twins. Identical twins. One of them went to prison, and the other one wrote to me. He said, "You know where we always used to finish each other's." Is that too clever? All right. Okay. So, sentences. <laughs> right. I'm going to get... Re- I'm going to get... I've lost three... V- I've lost few, three viewers through that. Sorry, right. Steve. <laughs> no, don't blame you. I, I, so it's all up to me. It's all up to me. Let's bring Alexis in. Is that... Oh, sh- I should never say that out loud in my house. She'll turn all my lights off. Right. I, I don't know how to introduce her. Uh, doesn't matter. Okay, Av, I'll see you in a bit. We're doing the ca- caption competition. Yeah, definitely. Excellent. Av Singh is gone. He's gone. And that's not in the wrong place because it's now in the middle. I'm going to do that. Okay, I'm going to whisper her first name. Alexis. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got Alexis Coward. <laughs> Hello. Oh, are you muted? You're muted. I don't think I can unmute you. I can. There you go. There, there you go. Bless you. Look, I'm putting my hand straight in front of the camera like a consummate professional there. there, you go. Don't worry about that. It's it's good though, isn't it? It's like, you know, there was a new app out which, which makes noises on Zoom so you can have excuses like baby crying or somebody ringing the doorbell. Uh, Leaving yourself muted is... It's it's, it's the joys of 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 the, the the stuff in it. Hey, I haven't seen you since before Christmas, have I? No, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Let's go for the Happy New Year. So, uh, <laughs> how was your Christmas? Is alright. Um, yeah, it turned out quite good because um, uh, all the siblings had been using my house to send all the presents and food to, and then we weren't allowed to see each other. So, I had a very good Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's Amazon Prime, isn't it? Hey, eh? you got to be the yeah. you got to be on there. It's good. So, have you got any gigs booked in for <gasps> real ease life? Of in... mm. Yes, I have a few. I have a handful. Um, I'm quite excited, but um, I don't want to be a pessimist. I'm not really a pessimist, but I'm tempering my excitement. Yeah. So that I don't get too disappointed. It's because it, it, they did start off wrong. They started saying we could do it, we can survive, we can, everything's going to be fine. And then it was no, 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 no. And now they're doing. Let's see how it goes. And I think that's a much better approach, really, because yes. it's going to get better. It's going to get better. I'm getting vaccinated on Monday. It's going to be fine. Yay! <laughs> More than a little bit jealous. Right. Oh, don't be, don't be. It's going to hurt. Be that's fine. what the that's what the woman at the no. doctor's receptionist said. It will hurt if you go there. She said, if we did it, it wouldn't have hurt. I said, mm. Mm. It's, but you've got to do it, haven't you? So it doesn't yeah. matter. It doesn't matter. Are you ready to go? Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I just <laughs> I looked at the clock and I thought, oh, let's right quick. I, I, I get accused <laughs> of chatting too much to people, but I don't go out. I don't go out of my house. It's very difficult. You do. I do find myself waylaying people. I walk the dog, and I think everyone in the park is trying to avoid me because I try try to have a conversation with everyone. Desperate for human interaction. <laughs> I know, but it'll, it'll, when I went to the chip shop, the other day, honestly, it's the first time I've been out, out, proper. And, whoa, Proof of dog. whoa, down, Shep. Oi, shh. He's a tiny thing, <laughs> thinks he's a wolf. Oh, oh, what's Do his you name? See him? Yes, what's, what's, what's his name? What's his name? All right, Mowgli, enough. Mowgli, Mowgli? Shh. Mowgli, down. Mowgli, he's a... Mowgli. He, because my my man cub, I yeah. know I'm a terrible person. <laughs> Mowgli's not a bad name. It's quite a fun name. I enjoy it. I enjoy it because it makes small children very excited. That's what I've 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 learned through having him. Is they always say, "Oh, what's he called?" Myself. And he's like Mowgli, and then he goes, oh, "I like the Jungle Book." Yes. Ah. So if I had a dog, I could call it Ariel. Ah, yes, that's a good or If thing. I had a mermaid, I could call it Mowgli, and then I'd be really that's true. weird. I don't know what I'm saying. Right, I'm going to lynch you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, friend of the house, 
Right there, back in the house, it's Alexis Coward. Wrong one. <laughs> Hi, yes, I'm Alexis, not Alexa. I don't have the answers to your questions. I do have the answer to one question. How well should your partner wash their hands between chopping chilies and relations? Well, um, I don't know about anybody else, but I, I feel that my... Um, my mental health this lockdown is precariously balanced on my 83 day strike on Duolingo. Um, and uh, the fact I finished a lip balm. And um, I'm pretty sure that's a once in a lifetime thing. So I'm, I'm living on the high of finishing my lip balm. Um, I have uh, been having uh, arguments with my, my husband um, during lockdown, or most recently during lockdown. And they've been weird arguments. They're very strange. We go weeks and weeks of peace, blissful harmony, and then out of nowhere, one of us will have a Brexit. You know what I mean by a Brexit? A pointless, long and expensive argument about nothing and no one quite knows how you got there. Um, well, uh, this worries me in particular because the last time we started arguing like this, um, we, had a, we had a discussion that it was about peas um, and it escalated and then he proposed and that's how we got married. Um, so him accidentally destroying my orchids, it's a big concern because I'm not ready to have a baby. Um, I uh, I did do one thing that may have misled him during lockdown, um, uh, and it was a fun thing for me. I ordered a boho top because I am a millennial wanker, and um, it came, it came, and um, I realised I'd ordered the wrong top. I'd ordered the maternity wear, and I knew this because on the outside of the package, over and over, it was written the word maternity in great big pink bubble writing with little hearts all over it. It's very sweet, and um, thankfully, top didn't fit. <sighs> oh. uh, and um, I, so I wrapped it back up, popped it on the end of the table and I left it for the husband to find. Yeah, that went down well. Um, you guys can try that one at home. Uh, the, the other thing that um, I, I thought I might offer as a, as a bit of Zoom etiquette, um, because there's so much Zooming going on, um, is uh, uh, one thing I learned today. Um, if you do have access to your boss's Zoom account, don't accidentally join a meeting on his account. It's not your meeting. Um, the the other thing I was going to share is uh, in our house, we quite like to sing songs at each other, sometimes mildly aggressively. Um, our favourite song to sing is, is the Mulan uh, song, I'll Make a Man Out of You great song. In fact, Mulan is the queen of Disney. Uh, she's the feminist icon I think we've all needed. Uh, she cuts her own hair, great for lockdown. Um, she saves the entirety of her country, her family. She does it without, and in fact, probably in spite of the help men give her. And um, I just think she's wonderful. Some of the lyrics in, in the movie uh, Mulan are, are troubling, um, sometimes good. I don't care what she looks like. Great lyric. Just what she cooks like. Not so good on the feminist front, but we do like Mulan and we uh, we like to sing it loudly at each other and um, we sing it in a sort of call and response and it's great fun. <laughs> Should check if he's on a Zoom meeting with his new manager at his new job <laughs> before you aggressively start singing the lines as you creep up the stairs. And you think, why is he not answering? So you get louder and louder and more frenetic until you're screaming around the corner of the of the door <laughs> as mysterious. Oh, shit. <laughs> Don't do that one. Um, I am learning languages because um, I have too much time on my hand. Um, I'm learning two languages. One of them, technically, I'm relearning. And that's Arabic. And, um, I, well, if I say relearning, I, I can really only say one I don't even know if you call this a sentence. I can say, jadid jacket, new jacket. That's what I've learned so far. Um, 83 days that's taken me to learn. Um, uh, but I'm relearning it because I grew up in the UAE. And um, one of the things I learned after we left the UAE is that um, all of our TV that we had, which was all on VHS tape, and I hope there's people out there who remember VHS tapes and I'm not shouting my age into the void um all of our tv was recorded onto vhs tapes and sent to us or or we bought them from very pirated um shops and 
what I learned once we moved to the UK was that um, they're very censored as well. Um, and at the end of a movie, you don't normally see the audience stand up and leave. Um, one of the, the things that um, I learned at 13, which very emotionally stable age to learn this, is um, Bambi's mum doesn't just leave, guys. I watched the full version of that at 13 and um, I think you'll, you'll all agree that is the most emotionally stable age to learn that your whole life <laughs> was built on lies <laughs> yes um, anyway I'm going to leave you on one thing um, if you are going to wear a mask and and that's your choice but you should be wearing one in my opinion it's just my opinion don't get angry with me um, if you are going to wear a mask and and you choose to wear it sans nose that's my other language, French. I can say it in French for you. Sans nez, 83 days on Duolingo. Um, just remember, that is the face equivalent of popping a condom on the bollocks and just hoping for the best. I've been Alexis. <laughs> like that, like that. Loved it, actually. Loved it all. Oh, I'm going to say you. something to you. Do you like my uh, Je Did Jacket? Je Did Jacket. Very Montez. That's the other word I know. Ah, do you know Amazing. what's in my Je Did Jacket pocket? A VHS. Oh, that's, that's what you were referencing, yes. people. I did, do you know I did a Zoom gig and I think the, <laughs> I think the average age was about 13 and they all looked at me like I was just talking <laughs> weird numbers at them. It's, it's it's a great it's a great no it's a disaster they were disasters to be fair but oh, at yeah. least they're not Betamax so that's all then we've lost another twenty people <laughs> by referencing that thanks so much hey look you're in good time now because we can do the uh, caption competition I need to say hello to Benny first though so uh, we'll say hello to Benny and then we'll bring everyone back for the caption competition in a couple of minutes is that all right perfect okay thank you very much like see you in a minute thank you that was great uh, Benny hello. You're muted, Benny. Why? Why? That's because I come in too quickly, isn't it? I come straight yeah. in too quickly. You are. I'm all right. How are you? Yeah, I'm all right. I didn't realise I was muted until I wasn't muted when you was doing your thing. So sorry about the. Well, I, I can understand, Benny, because you've just finished your live show, haven't you? And uh, yes. you do it on StreamYard, StreamYard as well? StreamYard, yes. So I do apologise, but hey, mm. hey, you're hey, right. I'm all right. Are you ready to do We're going to do the caption competition first, and then you're going to do your stuff. Right. So give you, okay. give yeah. you, it'll re relax you in. But I didn't want to just bring you into the caption competition and no right. one had met you, Benny. Right. Hi, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, first of all, we had DC. Hello, DC. Hello. No, we didn't. We had Pete Picton. <laughs> DC. Avsing. Alexis. That's so cool. He's not listening. That's hello, cool. everyone. Hey. Hello, everybody. Right. Are you ready to play the caption competition? Have you seen the pictures? Yes. No. No. Oh, goodness. Right. <laughs> People at home. I want you to say which do you think is the best uh, cap. Uh, who who just put in the comments who is the best caption you heard? Right, if I bring that in, does that do it? Prop, brilliant! Look at that, oh, fantastic! Yeah. It's comic relief tonight. If people don't know, Red Nose Day. Anybody want to do a caption for that? Yep, sure. The first Go. time from Wall, the first time from Wall Street that bullshit would actually be funny. <laughs> It's like the one I've got. Oh, right. So that's uh, uh, that's a nice nose. Did you pick it yourself? <laughs> <laughs> right. That's, that's going well. How, People are loving this. How about, how about Pretty Patel admits her anger management course has not gone as well as she'd hoped. <laughs> <laughs> Any more? Because I can move on. It's, it's, this is the worst one, I think. I did put comic relief stops the bullshit, but uh, DC beat me really to it. So <laughs> that's cool. Uh, right, we're going to go to the next one. Next one. Oh, here we go. You know who they are, don't you? Yeah. 
So Charles and Lady Camille, their security has been downgraded to salt and pepper shakers. <laughs> I'm a big Doctor Who fan. I'm not happy with pepper shakers, but I'm letting you have it. <laughs> Prince Charles appoints new royal staff to resolve the Harry and Meghan issue. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had Harry and Meghan surprise dad. Um, uh, how about um, Prince Charles asked the Queen to abdicate? <laughs> oh, oh, very good. Hey, we like that one. That was it. The most evil creatures in the universe meet two Daleks. <laughs> Love it. No, any more? Yeah. But this is going so well. Anybody want to comment? <laughs> Anybody commenting on this? Come on. I spent ages putting the graphics to this. Oh, here we go. Oh, God. Oh. Just Did measure you know, between the thumb and the finger. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good German accent. I've been struggling with my German accent on this one. The G spot is fine. Careful. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I've got, is, is is that, are you pleased to see me or is that a plunger up my ass? Oh no, that was for the other one. <laughs> that was for the Daleks, sorry. Oh God, I'm, I'm scared to do my German accent, so try go it. Go on, Av, go on, Av, go on, Av. No one's going to, no okay. one's going to punish you. And they put this one up a body says Anus. The Spanish. <laughs> the Spanish. It went Spanish. <laughs> the joke was as bad as the accent. No, the accent was better than the joke, Avril, let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is good. I, I'm sure he said enemy of the state. Uh, how about Angela Merkel suggests how Boris Johnson should have his jab? Yes. <laughs> yes, right up. Anybody else? Yeah, sure. Angela Merkel's saying G spot's easy to find, but to use it, to find the H spot, you need a glove. Uh, uh, good. <laughs> how, how how do you say Pokemon in German? Because it looks like Pikachu. Ah. Uh -huh. d d d no. All right. I'm going to fail that one. Right. Thank you so much. That was the, cap <laughs> the caption competition. <laughs> wow. People are people are saying in the comments it's the best one ever. <laughs> Hello, people. Look at you all. Look at you all on the screen. Wave. That is excellent. Right. Um, we're going to go. We're going to. I'm going to go straight into Benny. But everybody else, thank you so much. If you want to come back at the end and say goodbye, because Benny's doing about 20 minutes. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you only give five minutes, and that's all you get. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little joke. Right. Okay. So <laughs> get on, here he is. Boy, boy. Get on with it, you... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, first time in the head house, it's Benny Shakes. Hi, my name's Benny Shakes. I love this social distancing log. I don't get arrested no more. Well, having these shaky hands, I used to knock people over. They not come in handy in Aldi's with me nunchucks. No one comes near me. There's a whole class system in disabled people, like in society. I've got middle rate cerebral palsy, so that means I'm poor. My mate Steve-O is a triple ample T. He gets a BMW wheelchair, the lucky git. I would give my right arm for one of them, wouldn't you? I'm a garden designer, so if I come in the garden, and I'll find a dead body under the patio. It's all right. In police interviews, I have a shaky recollection. Anyway, one body's not a big deal. 
I work on a farm. We have loads of them. Whenever I get to use the combine of stuff, we have to dig another hole. Hey, he gets rid of the ramblers. It makes good compost. Well, my beetroot thing, so. Um, I was born with cerebral palsy and no testicles. So when it came to designing my own testicles, I approached it like a woman getting breast implants. I wanted something firm but not too firm, something big but not too big, just a handful. So <laughs> I went for the operation and they went, Benny, I'm sorry, but we ran out of testicles. So what have I got? Two glass eyeballs. So I've had them in for a while now. You know, like all old things. They've started rotating 90 degrees. Oh, well, things are looking up, I suppose. I went to Alton Towers the other year, and because I get a carer in free, I invited Steve along. Well, he looks disabled, don't he? So, <laughs> we went on the smiler, and he went, Benny, are you going to be all right on the smiler? And I went, for God's sake, Steve, I'm already disabled. What else can go wrong? <laughs> and let's face it, if I lose an arm or a leg, I can get a BMW wheelchair. On the way home, we went to McDonald's, and he noticed when people were talking to me, they would talk to him. Now, I understand now why women hate it when men look, talk to them and look at their tits. Well, face it, Steve's a big tit himself. I could be stood here juggling fire with the Willie hanging out and no one could Give a shit. I'm a good... No, I've done that one. Be a Ben. Um, <laughs> when I cook, it's like walking into a food fight. So I pitch the dragon's den, a restaurant staff with people with cerebral palsy. And the tagline is, food's on me. So I've been Benny Shakes. Good night and thank you. You can come back now. You got another twelve oh, minutes, mate. Time. Hey, Benny, that's great. That is great. I laughed so much. I, yeah. I, there's so many questions I want to ask, but I dare. Yeah, no, I can't. Is it true oh. about you, you had to design your own testicles? No, but I have got a um, testicle implant. There you go. I yeah. like just a handful. I was on the floor. Yeah. On the floor. It's excellent. Hey, I've, Benny, sorry. For God's sake, if you want to see any of my shows, just go to Benny Shakes Things Up. So, Do you know yeah. what, Benny? I stopped myself talking then because I was just going to say, Benny, you do some live shows, don't you? Where can people go? Where can people go to see it, Benny? BennyShakes.com? Where? Benny Shakes Things Up. If we say it three times, they can't forget it, mate. Benny Shakes Things Up. Because you just finished a live gig, didn't you? So we could watch that. No, it was a pre-record show. Play, play with me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. So between yeah. 8 and 9 o'clock on a Friday? Yeah. 
8 and 9 o'clock every Friday. Excellent. Uh, Benny, would you come yeah. back and do some more for us in a, yes. in a in a month or so? Are you sure? Yeah. I know you've got an agent now, so I'm asking you now live yeah, on the stream. Yeah, you're going to ask me agent, <laughs> but I'm sure we can fit you in. <laughs> You're a bad boy. All right. Benny, we're going to say goodbye to everyone. So let's bring everyone back in. Come on. Abs hidden. There he is. Hey. Oh, let's get rid of that. Thank you so much, everybody. I've had a great hen night. Thank you so much. The three people that are still with us have had a great night as well. And that's that's the main thing. I love StreamYard. So we can all say goodbye now. And thank you all. We had. We had. I've got a list here. I'm going to read it to you. I can't do touch screen on that. I have to use my mouth. Man. We had Pete Pickton, we had DC, we had Alexis Coward, we had Benny Shakes going to his website. We had Avsing. Thank you all so much. Bye bye. Bye bye. He's, I'm playing for time. Bye bye. <laughs> right, this is my final thought of the week. Right, I feel a bit like Jerry Springer doing this, but ah, what the fuck. Um, yeah, I, I realise that we've got a new chaos theory in town. You remember when Jurassic Park came out and uh, Jeff Goldblum was talking about um, chaos theory? Right? Chaos theory, if you don't know, is like if a, if, a, if a butterfly flaps its wings in the Amazon, then there'll be a short, sharp shower in Abergavenny a week on Tuesday. I, I was going to put uh, there'll be a short, damp wind in my underpants, but I thought I was better than that. But, but obviously, I'm not. Uh, yeah, we have a new chaos law. Right, you know Newton's third law. You know, for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. Now, in twenty twenty one, when a week that has seen our rights eroded away again, next Tuesday we will have been in lockdowns and special measures for a year. A whole year. And in that year, 150,000 people have died in this country of COVID. 150,000 people in this country. A large proportion of them since September last year, after the first lockdown. This new law, this, this chaos theory, right, is called Bodger's Third Law of Inadequacy, right? Do as little or as nothing as you do as little as you can until the public start moaning and you realize your popularity is dwindling and then do a few things to make your popularity come back to the level again because uh, trust me he could go into trafalgar square tomorrow and shoot someone with a gun and he would still be elected putting a couple of of, of, of plain clothes police officers in a nightclub is not the answer why don't you put them in uniform and stick them outside the club or stick them on the streets? Stick them on the streets. Do you know when you go in and try and rob something from a shop, possibly, and, and there's a cardboard cutout of a police officer in uniform, right? Apparently that is a deterrent. That actually works as a deterrent, right? So if you swap that cutout copper, copper, <laughs> cutout copper, the cutout cardboard copper, right? And, 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 and replaced it with a plain clothes officer, it's not going to make any difference. Bodger's third law of inadequacy. Do as little as possible until you'd start losing points. Because he could lose, he could lose, he could lose up to 20 points and he'd still get elected. We have nobody holding our government to account. The press won't do it. Obviously, the press won't do it. If you think the press are on the government side, ask yourself about Jeremy Corbyn, right? You still believe he's anti-Semitic. Uh, a terrorist sympathiser and would spend all our money in four years of government. Rishi Sunak has spent more in the last six months than, than Labour could ever spend in four years. £37 billion pounds on track and trace spaffed it up the wall. But no one's holding our government to account. The Labour Party is run by a knight of the realm, Sir Keir Starmer. Not my favourite car. The Labour Party is dead. The Liberal Party is dead. Lib Dems. The Green Party, one member of Parliament. And they're flailing around like a talking parrot in a Monty Python sketch. We have no credible opposition. Which means 
By 2030, we will have had 20 years of Tory rule. Some of you might think that's a great thing. Some of you might think that's the best thing that could ever happen, right? I'm happy for 20 years of any government. I honestly am. If it makes it better for the majority of people. And if this government is making the country better for the majority of people, I'm happy. I really am happy. But they won't. And do you know why they won't? Because this week, they've passed laws to stop people protesting. Not, not completely, but they've made it really difficult and really expensive to protest. Because the only people that can hold this government to account are people like you and me now. And you and me aren't interested in holding the government to account. But the people that are interested in holding the people to account have just had their liberties squashed. Because in the next nine years, we're going to struggle. We're going to need to protest. We're going to need to say, look, you can't do this. Only we can change it. Anyway, on Monday, I'm getting my vaccine. Vaccine, 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 vaccine. I'm begging of you, please devise a plan. Vaccine, 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 vaccine. Let's all take it as soon as we can.